Of your OnlyFans are pre predominantly gay men. It's weird because I think when you if you're doing that as a dude, you're going to get gay clientele. You either got to take it or leave it. You either got to get off there, or you're gonna like if you do anything sexual as a dude, you're going to have gay clientele. And what would you do? How would you how would you feel about it? And you getting the, and they in the DMs. That's what I'm saying. I'm turning the comments <laughs> in the, in the off. DMs. I gotta turn the comments <laughs> off. I gotta turn everything yeah, off. Yeah, because it's like yeah. and, and, and at the end of the day, it's like if you're smashing women on your what's it called that's all that matters it's like you're having sex with women on your face mm -hmm. so it's just like you just like what if you get in request from gay men for like specifics and money ain't that no. important <laughs> 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 I, like, I like how you like brush your shoulders like no man i'm like no nah. it's not yeah it's not that important so like uh there was like a i feel like there was like an only fan documentary that came out and some people we knew on there was on there and it was just like really? yeah there's some like some some women on there. there no some, some women oh so i gotta see you guys yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's an interesting thing. It's just like, it's one of those, are you cool with people knowing that you have? Like, would y'all do one? I'm, I'm kind of with you. If I was, my, my whole thing is family, honestly. Everybody knows I'm big on family. Yeah. So my thing would be family. And also, I don't know how much, what's the market for us? Women are killing on OnlyFans because dudes are perverts. Right. And dudes will pay for, it, like, literally, let me, I'll pay to see your feet. Yeah. I'll pay. I, oh, oh, is that an elbow? Oh. Yeah, like, I don't know if women gonna be paying us for stuff like that. Like, I think, I think I can make money for like a month. <laughs> for like a month. Women will pay men to listen. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you sit there and you listen. I don't would make money for a month. <laughs> and this is why I would make money. Because as much shit as I talk, you know, confidence, whatever it is, they just want to know. I just want to know if it, if if it, what it looks like. Mm -hmm. If he, the way he talks, I got to know. And after they saw it, they'd be like, cool, I know now. And then That's that would it. be it. Yeah. I got nothing. No, the only way I would nobody, make money. I don't think they want to see the shave and nah, asshole. See, <laughs> they have no interest. Now, here's the thing, though. What are you doing? It? I would only make money if I was doing stuff with Kai. No, well, Me no, and Kai would clean up. No, it's, it's what Gary said earlier. It's the request. Cause now if you have women on there, they'll be like, "Oh, question." Like, "All right, can we get a can we get a hand job?" They're gonna they're going to start asking you for certain things. You think so? You think, yes. I don't, man, yes. Is it for the the novelty or the actual like they're sexually like into watching? I, no, them? I think it'll be just the, the person doing it. It's like if they wouldn't necessarily be probably even if let's it just Alba is the nigga, right? He's the main guy that most women say they like. Mm -hmm. It's not. It will be because if if, they, if it just Alba had one, it would be because not because he's jacking off, because it's it's just Alba doing in that. his penis. Yeah. yeah, and it's just like okay, they get to see him doing. So that you're saying my fans, on. my fans would be like because it's me, they'd be like it's the novelty of Keon Poli. You know what I'm saying? And name it Poli. You know whatever you want to name. <laughs> is that what you is that what you used to call it? <laughs> the pollster is here, <laughs> but it's like I think it, it'll be more along the lines. Holy. It'll be more along the lines of that, mainly after they've seen what they've seen. But I, I honestly, I don't think they would want to see the, the actual bare penis. For most guys, they're yeah. going to want to see the print. They're going to want to see you in gray sweatpants. They're going to want to see you in probably some some boxer briefs with it showing. Yeah, it's a little more net. It's a little more nuanced. Yeah, so they can so they can be more turned on by like the oh, now I want to see the mystery. Yeah, they want to yeah. they want to be able to fantasize. I'm actually about I want you ladies to comment. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think now you I know. You want to see Keon Poli's <laughs> <pole>. <laughs> No, but I know I just in general not me, but I know me and Cotty would make a killing. For sure, I know we would clean up as a couple because women mm -hmm. like her a lot. What yeah. do you think they would they like us see? as a couple? 
I don't know. That mm. I don't know. But I know couples online who do that I think stuff. they would want to see her like, with the whip and you like... That would never happen. That would never, <laughs> that would never <laughs> happen? No. Somebody goes, look, we'll pay you 50 grand for just her yeah. spanking you with a paddle. Before taxes? This nigga's a goddamn <laughs> lie. He wouldn't do that? He'd be right. like, shit. Just do it already! <laughs> For me, it's just you've like, never got the whooping before. Yeah, I didn't enjoy that, and it was like it was punishment. I know, but like, but think about it from the the. You know what it is? It's not even. It's one. I'm not into that. But two, it's you being like, yeah, do that to him. Yeah, it's it's it's. You. I'm like, nigga, no. Yeah, I'm not into here's the money. Nah, yeah. but here's the thing. I think too, it's like I'm not into being. And in my mind, it's some it's some like white. Like, yeah. in my mind, is it a white thing? <laughs> like, no, I'm saying, in my mind, the person who's paying for it, like, uh, you spank that nigga. Like, yeah. I don't, it could oh, be, oh, okay. in my mind, so the, person, the, slavery the person who's paying okay. for it, I, I just feel like, nah, it's a, it's hell no. Nah. Like, yeah, yeah. and it could be somebody, it could be a yeah. old black lady, but yeah. in my mind, whoever this person is, I'm yeah. like, nah. And bro, also, too, so. are you into, like, it, it'd be a toss what so you're into. If you're not into, like, if, hey, you, dude, if you're not into being dominated, you'll be like, hell no. It's like, I, I'm, like I'm not You don't know if you're into it, though. Cause I didn't think I was into it. No, I just I wasn't into getting hit. No, like okay, I'm, I'm not. I don't know. I don't. I, I've into never it. like delved into it. But there was two instances. Once uh, a girl was on top. This was years ago, and she was like slapping my chest hella hard. So that's different. That. And I was that's like, different. but it was still painful. That's no, different. I didn't say I was into pain. Okay, yeah, awesome. I, I found out. I was oh, like dumb stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you not finna just like you're my little bit bitch. Yeah, walk, <laughs> like, nigga, like, no, walk, walk, walk on all fours, walk on all fours, and be yeah, like step on my nuts. Yeah, but that's right usually what it. powerful men are into, like truly powerful men. They yeah. want to be. I said it. I said it a million times. I want to make enough money to where I don't get to that point. <laughs> no, you said you, 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 you don't want to make enough money. Yeah, to, oh. to where I don't. I don't want to be a billionaire to that sense where I'm like, you know what? Nothing surprises me. The next level. Yeah. Nah, I don't. I don't want to make that much money. Where it's like, this isn't enough. Yeah, I need. I need more. Like, yeah, I, ne- I never wanted to be yeah. desensitized to like the female form. Yeah, to like right. seeing some titties and just be like, man, nah. like I've all. I always want to see titties. Oh, and be always. excited. I always oh, want to yeah. be like, yes, thank you. You know. Because yeah. I know for me, I've gotten into like. I remember I, I got into porn when I was watching like porn and stuff like that, and I was just watching. I was like, man, I'm tired of just seeing these. These model-looking girls, because it just seemed too phony and fake. Mm-hmm. I was like, I just want to look at average body-looking bitches. Like, yeah. Oh, and amateur, that, it was a turn-off. Amateur, amateur porn is, is way side, better sure. than professional side. Side. Sure. One, because it's just regular people doing what you do. Mm-hmm. And that's why I said me and Kylie would make a killing. People like regular people. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, yeah. But me, I don't know women checking for us the way we check them for them. On that tip. Like, I don't... I would I'd be interested to see how many straight males... Are killing on OnlyFans without the gay consumer. Mm. Not, uh, I, 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 would, I would guess yeah. it'd be little or nothing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. It would be know. little or nothing. What about what about from the female like uh, standpoint? Like what about female OnlyFans and who's doing it versus just just that whole like? I know universe. I know a few people doing it so. Yeah, same here. And they don't, they all you have to have is a, I don't care attitude. Like yeah. And what are you what are you putting out there? It's like you don't yeah. like people. We've always assumed with OnlyFans, somebody on there getting smashed. beat down, they getting yeah. smashed. It's like there's so many women on there that are making six figures just from feet, feet, opening just, packages, over body pictures, or like, just talking to a nigga. Yeah, it, like it just is, talking to a nigga. Yeah, cleaning it up. It is. It is just. It is. It is fast. It's really really fascinating to think about like money and how you make a living. And for women to always have that opportunity on the back burner, mm-hmm. like oh, if if things come to this, I could just do this. Yeah. And now with the anonymity, which you were talking about earlier, of like you being able to hide your face or hide your body and just do real kink specific stuff. Yeah. Why don't more women do it? And yeah, if, you we, wear, if you could wear a full. Yeah. Why don't more women? We said it before. We said there's there's probably a lot more women that that are doing it that we don't, that we don't know that we don't know that are doing it. You can literally you can turn it into like your own kink in a sense where it's just like yo you wear like a certain type of mask mm-hmm. and that's what you wear and that's your thing and if that's just a cover up as long as you don't have I said before as long as you don't have any like definitive tattoos like no only that girl has a cherry tattoo right there it's just like all right cool it's just like oh this is a tattoo that every girl has it's like oh that, I can't tell that's her or she has no tattoos go on go on, you can go in there and make a killing and. 
Go back to a corporate gig if you yeah. want to afterwards. And that's what I'm, and that's what I was wondering. I was wondering if you if your feet if you do the feet, just for example, like oh I do feet. All I do is feet. I squish peaches with my feet. People pay for it. Mm -hmm. It, <laughs> or squish grapes with my feet. You squish your peaches. You got some strong yeah. ass feet. Damn, you are, you're a half crow. You got to out here to smash your watermelon with your Sheesh. feet. Well, when you think, of, I just say peaches. When you think of peaches, peaches should be softer than what, but they are pretty soft. They're pretty they got fur. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, but um, if the the consumer of that, like, are they it, like, do they want to know? Do they want to see the rest of you? And, and how much are they willing to pay to see the rest of you? And at what point, you know... You take that money. At what point are you like, I'm just a foot person. I just do feet. I just show my feet. But we'll pay you to do this. You know what I mean? And I think it all depends on your, your, your morals and ethics. If you're just like, yo, I'm here and I'm cool with making this much money a month. I'm not going to compromise my integrity or myself for a dollar amount. And it's Have like, you and already compromised? I mean, not really, because a lot of, a lot of, like I said before, depending on what you're doing, a lot of the stuff people are no, posting on Instagram. Yeah, wherever, and wherever you're aligned, that's a big point too. A lot, of these women, a lot of these women are just, they were already posting this on IG. I'm just going to make you pay for it now. Yeah, mm -hmm. they missed everything. Yeah, you you already have seen cool. the see-through swimsuit or yeah. wet t-shirt. So they're like, well, I'm just taking that off. Just monetizing that. And then, yeah, I'm just going to yeah. make you pay for it. And it's like, because you, what you do now is they'll put up one picture and be like, if you want to see the rest of this photo shoot, right. you know, you got to go and to my own. be like, yeah. Ah. yeah. Or they'll, what they'll do is they'll put like, you know, the cover up over the, the, the parts of the, right. the body. And they'll be like, if you want to see this uncensored, in my OnlyFans. And most dudes do. It's, you know what's weird? Because um, I was hanging out with a, a stripper like when I was like years ago, she was 18. Like she had turned 18. I was mm -hmm. probably like 21. Mm -hmm. She had, and I, I was introduced to her through friends. Anyway, her first night, like going to the club, she had just turned 18 on her 18th birthday. First night in the club, like we dropped her off and we came back, picked them up at like 5 a.m. Her and her friend, who was my boy's girlfriend at the time. And um, she had, she had clean house, like two, three racks at 18, freshly 18. Right. So how do you go from that yeah. To like my, now my I'm Wendy's. selling it. Now I'm selling it. Cause you know, you, you had a line. Oh, I'm just dancing. That's mm -hmm. all I'm doing. I'm dancing. How do you go from that to like now I'm dancing in Vegas and I'm getting six K. Yeah. But this is motherfucker all for me. I boy, I, it, like I think you have to have a strong like this is just what I'm not doing. Right. Like mm -hmm. money don't move line. me like cause money if you are one of the people who just making money because you know we all need it, versus where money just dictates everything like it's certain gigs I don't take. Yeah. Well, money don't move me like that. Mm -hmm. Like yep. it's certain, I just certain shit. Like I'm not. I walk out of auditions. I'm like, I'm like, I. It's I'm not worth my peace of mind. Yeah, sense. like yeah. I, I just have stuff I'm willing to do and stuff I'm not. And whatever your thing is, I'm not judging that. I'm just right. saying, have you, your line. Have your line. Have like you know what I mean. Or if you ain't got a line, then do yeah. you. you know what yeah. I mean? DP is your line. Yeah. Some people are just like some people are all about the money. Like it's literally they live off the you know the Rick Ross money that become type thing, right? And if that if that if that's your mentality. Go get it. It's just like, mm -hmm. it's, but the, but like you said, charge them niggas. Like, yo, I ain't gonna do it for three grand, three k. But like, you give me fifteen k, I fly you, fly me out to your city, and if you pay me fifteen k, you get an hour of my, of my time sexually. It's like some of them can block that out, or some of them are like, yo, this is fifteen k. I'm, I'm horny off this shit. This nigga gave me fifteen k, flew me out, bought me shit on top of the money. Easy work mm -hmm. for one for one hour. You got fifteen thousand dollars for one hour. There's not, I guarantee you, there's probably what about more. Your soul? There's, I guarantee you, there's a, a, there's probably more women out there than not that on some hidden types, nobody would ever find out about this. It's not going to be on camera. I'm paying you for a private oh, yeah. session. That's the thing, too. They it's, would do it. It's more of the who's going to know. Yeah. Most things we do is who's going to know. That makes sense. So, like, even, even, even us, like, if, if Oprah on the low was like, just drop it off one time. No one's ever gonna know I'm paying you X X amount. Most you dudes would be like, penis. "I'm just doing her job because okay. she's rich." Yeah. Most dudes would be like, "Nigga, we didn't did worse for yeah. free." That's yeah. everybody. We didn't did worse for free. Which is a guy. We're like, yeah. Why <laughs> when I smash Oprah for it? She's I, like, "I'm gonna give you, you know, shit. I'm, I'm gonna give you a hundred. I love the idea of Oprah paying for dick. So yeah. like good dick, like guaranteed a good time. Probably does. You think, you think so? so? If she likes dudes, you think so? You oh, think no. Shonda Rhimes is out here paying for dick? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> They're paying them to leave me alone, so I got work to do. Yeah, right. it's like, yo, I don't even have time. To, I don't have time to go meet men. Yeah, right. Over the property is so busy. She might not necessarily have time to or meet, pussy, whatever date, whatever, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. whatever the preference is. I don't have time to meet, date, court, do all this crap, and then go get to that. It's just like, all right, yo, 
I got like a, I got, I got a, a clear, a clear shot between three and four p.m. Um, yo, this guy, can you come through right now? I'm right yeah. I'll pay you just for money. Your money. All right. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I said, niggas are doing way worse when they stumble out of the club. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, and the women yeah. have the same mindset. Like, I've done worse. So, yeah. let me get this money for it at least. But, like, again, it depends on... And it also depends where you're at in life, what you're doing. Like, money don't move me either because how we get paid sometimes. Mm-hmm. I know how much I've gotten paid just to talk for an hour. Right. I'm not going to do that shit. When I can... I know I can get this... Right. This way, you know what I'm saying? I would imagine that those type of opportunities don't come to you or you don't entertain those type of opportunities if you're in a sort of a more stable space. Yeah. I think it's when you down more and dumps, you're like, yeah. ah, damn, like an act of desperation. Yeah. But, you're or, like, or you're young and you're just like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, you're not thinking it's going to come back to also some people. I mean, you look at some porn stars. There's some, I remember there's a porn star that I, um, that I used to not know personally, but I, I, I've watched some of her work and, um, she ended up. She ended up. She ended up. Uh, stopped doing porn. She got into like weightlifting, like kind of like uh. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> no, because I saw you coming already. So it was like, we, we just waited. Keon said, Keon just made y'all OnlyFans account, a couple's account. So y'all got work to do. I was saying content, how content, content. I was saying how content, content, content. If we. I, I wouldn't make any money by myself. I would need. All right, from a woman's perspective. Yeah. You think women would pay? Don't come into the dudes. frame. No, okay, yeah. yeah. You think <laughs> women would pay? But you know, how dudes are disgusting. Yeah. And we just pay for anything. What would a woman pay for? Oh, I mean, that's a great question. I mean, would it be the celebrity? Like, like if it, if it, was, yeah. if it was like an Idris Elba showing dick prints. Would y'all oh, pay for? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so his I mean, his argument I'm was. Even better, Lance Gross. Anything he does. So, so, so it's does. about it's about it's about him, not yeah. the penis. Yeah, like, yeah. Right. So, so my argument was, I wouldn't, I would only make money like the first month, because after women, they just want to see if it's true or whatever, no, and then they'd be no, done. I don't think so. But he's saying if they're into you, they would want to see more. Oh, absolutely. But I think you'll be fine because like you have a good dick size. So like all these women, are you so have a good dick size. I'm not here, bro. <laughs> For real? There's so many women in the world that are, would love to just see you jack off whether they know you're or not. Now, you think so? I, I, you think so? I, I, I think so. I'm going to watch your jack off. I said that. Like, this nigga? This nigga? Hey, 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 this nigga? I'll be like, I'm charging you, nigga, you, you, y'all for this. Like, I'm charging you, motherfuckers, at least five grand for it. That's how you talk to your consumer. But look, I'm charging you, niggas. But look, he, he <laughs> you said, motherfuckers got this, was, this, was made, this is why he stuttered. Because he said, I'm charging you, niggas. And realized, yeah. I'm not talking to dudes. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 That's exactly what I'm trying to do. It's like, nah, you thought. I was like, oh, they don't think that's fine. No, 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 no,
it's like it's like like you know your purpose and sort of like what you contribute to the world in a way. I felt I felt like I think if you're not showing your face, it might actually be sexier in a sense, right? It's like it's like um when you it's like the, the mystique of getting caught. It's like you don't know who this is. So some of them might actually be more turned on doing it if they could be faces from some some but type of stuff. Because oh, they, they could because they could. Um, they could kind of reinvent themselves and yeah. just be a different person. You could be, be a whole different character. Yeah, you could be a whole different person. Being shown. So it's like, it's not. None of her stuff's going to come out. Oh, because she's not like. turn off, yeah, I'll be turning off the sound. Uh, oh. Uh, but uh, people, I think women also aren't cognizant, or people aren't cognizant of the fact that there's something out there for everyone. Like, like people on YouTube watch people opening up boxes. I would never mm -hmm. do that. But people are into everything, which is why feet stuff goes, or farting in a jar and selling. Oh, yeah, oh, girl, yeah, oh, girl. Farting in a jar and selling for, like, making over, like, 50K a month. You can still use her audio, because you just got to cut up. Just turn it on. You need me to dub over? It's just like, ah, that's funny. That's funny. Interesting. Oh, we were also trying to talk about the transaction of an older... So you're, you're saying like um so you 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 just a whole different thing. You're talking about how like um why why when if like a a couple was together for like 20, 30 years yeah and then the, you know, not like twenty thirty years let's go like let's go 15, like let's go like seven years. Oh, yeah, that's I missed, nothing. I missed, I missed this. I must have missed this. That's no, you didn't miss it. You came in right on it. <clears throat> A couple was together for seven years. Right? I think it's longer than seven years. All right, like, ten, ten years. Ten, ten, years. ten, 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 ten years. Fifteen years, and they get divorced, and now, oh, oh, and now yeah. the older guy, is, and let's say he's forty-two years old, he now he wants to date a twenty-two-year-old. Mm -hmm. You know what? What does that do to, to the, the psyche of the of to, his to the ex -wife. woman of his ex-wife? I think it might depend on one how you got divorced or why you're getting divorced. Oh, it's ugly. You know. Uh -huh. You said what? It's, it's ugly. It's, oh, the divorce it's messy. Is ugly? Yeah, it's messy. Okay. okay and As most divorces are. Probably, let's say it's infidelity or whatever the case may be. It's just like, yeah, she. I think the ego of her is going to be hurt. It's like, oh, he, he got a younger version of her. Like, it's mm -hmm. like, that can hurt for sure. Because it's like, that sucks. It's like, it's like a lot of, a lot of value is placed on women's, is women's beauty. And the older you get, mm -hmm. quote unquote, it fades, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just like to her, it's just like, oh, it's like he's he's not with me anymore. He did, he doesn't desire me anymore because my looks are fading. So he's getting a younger version, version of that. Yeah, I just I just I think it's like a, it just feels like a mind fuck to me. I don't you see how to wrap like, your mind around this it. is this is why uh, I don't see how the two are correlated. It depends on why y'all got divorced. No, so like who gives a shit what he does after you? No, I think you're going. You're going I, no, I'm. I, I'm I, not internalizing. I I know that that's true because you hear it all the time. Like he got yeah. younger, bitch. Like, but my I'm, I, what I'm asking is, if you are, if y'all already fell out, why do you give? Like, if he cheats on you with the younger girl. Yeah, I get that. If y'all already broke up, and oh, then he gets with a younger woman. This entertainment. Who gives a shit? This, uh, we cheating with it. cheating on you with a younger version of something better. But I get why that would fuck you up. Yeah, but if you're already split, I don't like them. Right. I don't like her. And then I give the shit. I think. I think honestly, I think you might be going from a, from how Keon would view it. I think. And I'll, no, and I mean, it, I'm, I, I'm asking. Ask no, why would you care? Yeah, why would you care if you don't like him? Well, because anymore, if you, he don't like you, it's not it, it, because yeah, I don't think. Not, I don't think it just. I don't think it's just cut. I don't think you just like. Right. It's just cut and dry. I think it. I think this ego it, it's time it. to heal. Like yeah. it's time to heal. E and if it's fresh, and you know, you you still are are processing these feelings and shit, and this. So in this scenario, he has the divorce. Um, and I don't think it matters. Let's say. Oh yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's yeah. not matters. Yeah. What if she been yeah. done with this nigga? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he so, asked for the divorce. So okay, he asked for the divorce, and then he gets young. Yes, I can mm -hmm. see how that would fuck. I can still, I can still see a woman asking for a divorce, and then once it's done, she's like, oh, I'm just, "This dude was stressful, out of toxic." And then you're like, oh, you see so so new little girlfriend? She gonna she ain't gonna be like, I don't care. She be like, oh, she gonna want to see. She gonna most likely be like, how okay. how old is she? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, so like we're talking about like um, you know, women trying to get out of like get out of that space and be able to get corporate or whatever the case may be. I was uh, I used to uh, uh, watch this porn star's uh, work mm -hmm. and. Uh, <laughs> She had, um, she wanted to transition into like weightlifting. And I remember, you know, she, uh, her work was still online, but then I remember I made like a comment like to somebody about, like about her, like I saw like, one of her tweets or whatever. And I was like, oh, that's the porn star or whatever. And they're just like, hey, you need to respect her. She's transitioning out of that. <clears throat> and then I tried to look at her work like, like six months after that. She scrubbed, a, she got a lot of that shit scrubbed off. 
mm-hmm. where you can barely find a lot of her old work, and she has some work out there. So now it's like vintage shit. If you can get a hold of, if you can get a hold of, it's kind of like on some like you got it. But then you know she's in that world. She's she's like a bodybuilder. She's doing well in that world too. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, you know, uh, you can still make the transition. It's like there's other just other I feel porn stars that have transitioned. Some even into acting and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I think it's, I think it's doable to be like you say. You know, do that stuff, do OnlyFans, and then go corporate if you need to. Just think what you're doing. And depending on the level, society now doesn't care as much about, Yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it's not frowned upon as much when people be like, oh, you used to do this. Like, they'd be like, oh, yeah, she used to do this, and it's like, okay. Only thing you have to deal with as a woman specifically is that dudes are going to probably try you. Hmm. So it's just like, if you're in that world, especially if you're in that world and you were doing stuff sexually... You know, they don't be like, so, like, what's up? Well, I don't do that. I mean, I, I got, like, 500 for you, yeah. You got to deal with or, that. Well, well, I thought you were saying, like, if you get into a relationship and she's like, oh, I don't do anal anymore. It's like, but you had a whole career on doing anal, and now you don't do anal? I mean, I, I'm real with you. That's, that, I, <laughs> that, would, like, that would, I mean, that's the thing. Yeah. I mean, that would you be. not going to do all this for this, and then I don't get the, <laughs> like, what the right. fuck? If I'm your dude that you love, I should that. be getting, and I, I was going to, oh, I guess it's a whole different discussion, but that was my thing, too. It's like. Some women do do that. Some women are disgusting <laughs> to certain men. To certain, certain men, women. but then you get with a guy, and you're just like, "Well, I don't want to do that anymore." Mm-hmm. It's like are you, you must be insane. I think it's going to last. Yeah. It's going to last now. Your, your brain is broken. Yeah. <laughs> you must be insane. Just like me, if I, I provided, I paid for other women all the time, but now that we get together, I'm like, you know what? I don't pay for them anymore now that I'm in a relationship. I already paid for one when I was single because they needed right. it. You belong in a loony, baby. You think that's kind of real? It's an insane asylum. It's an asylum. So circling back, circling back to what y'all talked about earlier, where y'all was saying how like, uh, would you care who the person got with after? I care more about that. More about what? If you get the divorce. And you now you oh, became that, that crazy shit again. Crazy shit. Yeah. Like I can get none of that shit. I would, yeah. I'd be I'll way more. Yeah. I'd be way more mad about that than who the person yeah. was. I think the biggest thing yeah. was uh, the uh, knowing or realizing or understanding if that relationship and that dynamic is just purely transactional mm. versus if it's something more of substance, like a twenty-two year old and a forty-four year old man. If he's like this unattractive rich dude. You know, bald and short with a little dick, and she's twenty two and she's gorgeous. The the transaction of that is like is 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 is, is evident. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's like, oh, this is purely transactional. She's yeah. got, she obviously just wants some money, and he obviously just wants like a trophy yeah. and you know something to play with. Yeah. But if he's an attractive dude and there's more, and he's still rich, and he's still rich, is she expecting more like something of substance, something more real? I mean, I guess it depends on the conversation that they have, but like, I think yeah, she's gonna she's gonna probably feel a different way because now she's attracted to him. Yeah, cause I've always felt like things can be transactional, like in you know, like in the world of like sex work and all that. But if we're in just like real life, regular like daily life, people want to feel like there there's a real human like element to it, like there's a real relationship to this thing. So I was wondering, like, which sucks. are men? Do men have sort of like? Do they think like, oh no, this twenty two year old she like really likes me for like who I am? Oh, some do. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you know some. What I mean? do. Some, I'm sure some do. Yeah, some are some stu- stupid enough. Yeah, and like dumb. you said, it's it's just people's feeling. I remember this one young lady uh, wanted us to watch TV first, just so she didn't feel like it was. Uh, yeah, I had that same. Like, yeah, I had that same thing happen before. I'm like, oh, yeah. so uh, a thirty minute episode of King Queen changed the fact uh-huh. that you came over here for day. Really, that yeah. that's yeah. what. She's like, I don't just come over you don't here. Wanna, yes, you do. That like, is why you come. What are you talking about? You don't want to feel like a whore, though. Yeah. That's interesting. But you're not. Like, we're both getting something out of this. You come do this, I do this, and then I dip, you dip, whatever. It goes yeah. back to the classic like, dairy. But you're feeling. You're feeling, feelings, bro. Feelings. Like, like, she wants to feel like And she rationalizes it to yeah. where, like, it made a difference if we watched something first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like. You're not viewed any And she said out loud, I don't just come over here. Yes, should, you, you should, do. Yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about? We never hang out outside of this. We don't do anything else but this. We have never seen each other in the daylight. Like, <laughs> like yeah. well, sometimes we do that. But okay. the, you were the, cold. That's cold. The, the fact that she needed that fifteen minute buffer, buffer, yeah, yeah, was just crazy to me. Because I was just yeah. like, 
again, how about how you how it makes you feel. Yeah, she didn't know. Like, she didn't know why she needed that, but she doesn't know. She it felt so a little bit better. better. It probably, it probably, it probably, it, it, was, it was probably her own ego being like, I just don't want to feel like it's, I'm just coming here and giving him this. Uh-huh. It's like, yo, we did something first. In my mind, we kicked it. We actually hung out. So right. I just come over here. It, it's like it, it is kind of like. Yeah. I mean, it is kind of a weird like transition to like enter into the door and then just like lay down and take your clothes. Like it's it's like talk to me. What a, it don't got to be necessarily just bad. Have a conversation. So sometimes it's like you come in there and like, hey, what's Did you offer her something to drink? Yeah, what's that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it's like, yeah. she really was like, you know, once you get settled in, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, all right. Especially that, this chick time she said that to, I had somewhere to be after. Oh. Knew okay. this before she got there. Yeah. And still was, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, and I think, I think part of it was, now that I'm thinking about it in, real time right now the type of girls that i've messed with i think in their mind they're probably like no i don't i deserve like i don't get treated like this. like i i'm pretty and i'm you know what i mean like i you don't do me like that. and yeah. i'm just like it's ego it's yeah always, it's always goes back to ego the, the dudes that there's another guy that is not treating her like a a, a slut bucket in a sense <laughs> To where eh. he's like, yo, it's like he's like he's taking around, he's paying for food, and she's like, got a plethora that's willing to do this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She's willing to do do yeah, all these she's things. Coming over to you, and you just being like, yo, like, um, yeah. can, you, can you bend it over? Can you can you, can you bust it over? And she kind of likes that though, and she does. She likes that contract. That's, that's why she's coming here yeah. for it because it's like to be treated like a slut, but then, but then also don't don't treat me like a slut, right? And that's that's just right. that just goes into and then like too, how confusing women are. Right, and then too, the type of guys you want versus the type of guy, you know what I mean? Like you were talking about. Mm-hmm. Well, but I like this one. Yeah. But he don't like me. Yeah. But these other ones will do anything I need. Mm-hmm. Great guy, but, but I don't like, I want this one. Mm-hmm. But this one, I like you. I've been, on, I've been on both ends of the spectrum. I've been the guy that, you know, girls was like, I'm going to take it slow with him. But then uh-huh. I found like they were smashing somebody else. Yeah. And giving it to him first night because he was whatever. But, are we know. talking about pre-hair or post-hair? Both, nigga. Okay. Okay. All right. I just I wanted to get the time frame. Two different people. Two different people. Like, two different people. Kobe 8 and Kobe 24, bro. Yeah, two different two, two, two niggas. You can't just be throwing stories out there. Like. It, happened, it, happened in both, it happened at both times, but it was like, it was. And I'm, How did that make you feel? What do you mean? <laughs> like, how, how, did you, how did you take that? Well, I was heated. Like, like when, when I was a guy. You found out you were the, the, the nice. The mark in the sense? Yeah. I was hot. And I asked, I was just like, yo, I said, why? I said, what made you, what made you slow up with me? She's like, well, you, you, you came up with like good guy, like just like nicer elements. She's like, you didn't, you, treat, you treated me nice. And I'm just like, Super nice and I said, this is why you got to be a dog out here. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, and there's times where I was, I was a dude, like literally I had a girl and she would bring me food from her date with another dude and we'd eat it. And that's, <laughs> and that's messed up. But I'm just like. Hey, I beat you, nigga. It's my turn. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank for the steak, my nigga. It's good too. Did well, you, you drink her? She drink? Drink? She you drank Cotty's drinks that were bought for her from of other men. Yeah. Of course. So it's like it's like, but it, so that's, that's what I'm saying. I've been on both ends of the spectrum, and in all honesty, they, honestly, I felt bad for the guy because I was the guy. I've been that guy been before, that guy. and it's like, damn, it's like it's like she trashed for this. Mm. But it's just like this is no, also you part. Earn that, bro. You, you got to start the D League. No, what I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, like, I'm saying is I, I, I thought she was trapped. But I was like, also, I was like, also, it's part of the game. Play. I'm sorry. Okay. It's just like it, it's, it's, you lose on this one. Is, What's bro? the most dog shit you've ever done? <laughs> Keenan. <Huh? laughs> hey man, they got left off camera. Like <laughs> she's still in. I don't care. <laughs> we both had lives before each other. I mean. I mean, I mean, there's no, there's no, I mean. <laughs> I'll go, you want me to go first? You, I t- I'll tell y'all. You I'll go tell first you, and last. I'll tell you, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. I'll tell you the worst thing I've ever done. Um, no. Damn. There's a few. But I, I would say the thing I felt like most bad about is um, summer. I was in college. I was in school in Michigan and it was the summer and I wanted to go back just to like kick it for like a couple days or like a week or so. And I didn't have enough money for a plane ticket. Wait, I remember this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to tell the yeah. story, it's great. I didn't have enough money for a plane ticket, mm-hmm. but I wanted to go back. So a girl that I was seeing, 
she wanted to see me and you know hang out and stuff and uh i was like hey um i want you know i want to come out there obviously like would you mind going half on a ticket with me mm-hmm. and she was like oh yeah sure and i think tickets were, at that time were like 250 dollars round trip so Dang. she gave me 125 dollars easy bang yeah. right Good thing was is uh i didn't have the other 125 dollars mm. so um i hit up another girl who was out there i was like hey you know i would i want to come out like Listen, you might go on half on a ticket with me. So she's like, oh yeah, for sure. Like, so she gave me $125. So boom, I got my ticket. And the thing was, is that like, you know, when somebody pays for half of the ticket, like you're almost like, I don't want to say on their time, but you yeah. have a responsibility yeah. to spend, you know, you're obligated. Obligated. You're obligated. You're yeah. Obligated. yeah, you're obligated to spend time. Sure. With so I went, you know, and, I, and I'm, I'm hanging out with, with girl A, who is actually like my now fiance. Mm-hmm. Um, and she knows the story. It yeah. came out like in a weird way, but it, we laughed. But anyway, um, I'm hanging out with her, you know. So, <laughs> and it's like, you know, it's like been like three or four days. And, she, you know, she's like, oh, so when are you leaving? I was like, oh, yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving tomorrow. Mm. And uh, which was like Friday. And the other girl, girl number two, was like, oh, so like, what's your itinerary? It's like, oh, I get in, I fly in on Friday. And then I leave <laughs> Sunday. So I had the girl oh, drop wow. me off at the airport on that Friday. I walk, do the whole goodbye, go into the airport, sit there for about 30 minutes, hit the other girl up, like, oh, yeah, I just landed. <laughs> she picks me up from the airport, and we know we kick it for a couple of days. But, like, on, like, the third day, I go to a bar, and I see Jess at that bar. So I had to, like, dodge you know, oh, like yeah, make sure yeah, that she yeah. didn't see me and shit. Oh, yeah. uh, flight got delayed. Yeah, yeah. flight got delayed <laughs> four days. No, I've been in your weather. I've been in the weather, man. <laughs> so yeah, that was probably like the worst, most calculated, like Hilarious. fuck shit that I think I've done. That's, that's I've done great. other things. That's, that's great, that's, right? yeah, that's, that's, that's actually, a great day. Yeah, that's great day. Fuck shit. Great day. But I remember I, when you started. I was like, wait, I know this. Yeah, one. great day. Most, I don't know. Most, I try. I've I've made. I've I've I didn't. <laughs> when Keita starts stuttering, <laughs> it's the funniest shit. <laughs> is there something deep in the pits? I made the attempt and almost finished it, but still got far and uh, messed up with sisters. Okay. And, you know, uh, I felt bad because it was just like, I, I, I guess I kind of didn't feel bad and I, and I did at the same time, but I met with one of the sisters beforehand. And so... I was like, the sister was like, hey, cutie is my dad. And I'm just like, why would she say this to me? Like, if she knows I messed with her sister. I was like, does she not know I messed with her sister? That's not your fault. So I was just like, all right. And, you know, I tried to, you know, that's why I started making my moves on it. And everything was going good. Went out to eat, date, you know, start getting it on. It got to a point. She was like, wait a second. Didn't you talk to my sister? And I was just like. Oh, I thought you knew that. I was like, what? Like, <laughs> nigga sucks. I said, did you, I said, did you, I was like, did you, did you not, like, did she not tell you this? <laughs> <laughs> you, like, no. She said, I, she's like, I found out, like, before I came here. I was like, oh, that's funny. I said, why are we, why are we here? Why are right. these out? Damn. Why, why did you let me get here? Yeah. And she's just like, like, why, why would you? Trying to talk to both of them. I was like, I was like, I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm like, I'm just 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 like, i am just we got in the top. I said, I just don't feel right doing this, and you know. But I you felt right showing up. And I was, that's, I, I was. Just, you I found out. She said, you said she found out before she got there. She felt, she knew. Yeah, she knew. Her logic is not she, making sense. And I'm just like, I was like, my thing was just like, are you? And I didn't say this, but I should probably say this. It's like, are you feeling guilty because we're, about, yeah. we're actually about to go all yeah, the way? That, that, are you feeling guilty because you know you knew this and you were still like. I'm going to still fuck this nigga. Yeah. And then we're getting to it, and I'm getting it. I have people have your clothes off, and now you're just like, it hit. Like, damn, it's my sister, man. Yeah. I can't. She got a case of this. She's to put it back on you. And Turn then she threw it on you. me, and she's yeah. just like, I, I, I mean, I assumed, yeah, my brother and sister, like, me and my brother, we don't know. Like, there's no, there's that, no, yeah. there's no hidden, like, oh, that's old girl? Get those, nigga. Like, but yeah. you don't know for sure. I'm going to be like, ah, no, nah, it didn't go. 
Like, I was picking your her up from where y'all stayed at. Right. How, do you, yeah. how did you not know? It this? just hit her when she got. She thought she could be a dog, and it wasn't in her. Yeah, she started thinking about it too yeah, much. It yeah, and so it's like you know doing that, and it's just like so. I mean, afterwards, I don't put that on you. I think she's a dog. I don't put that on you. I feel like it's, I feel like I take I'll take some accountability there. I'm not I'm you know you, you know you see how easy that is. Yeah. You, you, you take, I take accountability out there. You stutter through it though. So I, like, I stutter like a phone. What kind of kind of story in a sense? But I'm saying like I I, I took accountability beforehand yeah. in a sense beforehand. But like yeah, it was just like I was like, I, I, I was all right. That was kind of like whack on me in a sense where it's just like because I at the end of the day I knew I, if anything I should be like. You, I know we're saying like it's part of the game, nigga. It's like if you can get both, get both. But yeah. it's like it's like that's kind of. But it was kind of not like a novelty for you, like oh shit, like you were thinking about like oh I get smash a sister. Yeah, so like, you were excited about it's, it. It's a story, but yo, it's their fault for having yeah. a pretty family. First of all, True. let's put the let's put the real blame on well, the were parents. They, were they were they for having two attractive yeah, kids? Yeah, they were, they were attractive. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, you probably have one, and then one that's whatever. So you make an easy choice. Mm-hmm. But if you got two. Uh, the adorable siblings, you know what I mean? What, what, what am I supposed to do? And my thing is, is like, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. And here's the thing was, I, I, like, we weren't, like, together. So it's like, I wouldn't mind if a girl wanted to smash my brother and myself. Like, especially back then, when we were both, were, like, yeah, exactly. and I, looking good. I, yeah, I'd be like, mm-hmm. nigga, if I, if I, get it. Go ahead and just knock it down. If it's a girl, like, you like, you're going to feel a certain way about it. Right. But it's just like, I'm like, yo, Corey, get that. Yo, if you could knock those down, too, nigga, hell yeah. I definitely, mm. have, I definitely have passed. Girls on to my brother before. Yeah. Mm. Like, definitely. Like, after I was done, I'm, mm. like, I'm like, y'all, do whatever you, I don't care. I, I remember one time I came over and the girl I used to smash was over the house. And uh, I was like, mm, all right. Friends, it don't matter. As long as, yeah. my, as, long, as long as it's like, as long as you're like, it's, it's how do you feel? If you like, even if it's like a girl you used to kind of talk to, who's like, I don't even care. Nigga, knock those down. Like, she's she for the streets. It's like, all right, cool. And I was done, too. Yeah. I was done. So, like, when I came in, they was hanging out. I was like, Oh, baby. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, yeah. That's not yeah. universal, I learned. Because when I went, once I went to school, like, in the Bay, it was like, hey, if she, you know, we still had, like, somewhat of a, like, pseudo wannabe pimp mentality. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, she choosing, nigga, she choosing. Yeah, like, exactly. you know. Just like, let you know. Just tell me. If yeah. nobody liked, no, like, I didn't like that girl. Like, my brother had no. I, and he, and, and like, I, it was so clear that I didn't because, like, she had came over the last time we had messed around. I was like, bro, I hope she, I don't, I'm done. Like, I don't want to see her. I don't want to. So when they came over, I was like, bet. Mm-hmm. Like, he knew I didn't care. She was on something, like, to my brother. Like, oh, God. Like, and my brother's like, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, this is good. Yeah. Yeah, watch. Yeah, watch. Yeah, I'm in my room, close the door, nigga. I'm yeah. like, I don't want no parts of that. What's up, right? And you think so, she was trying to, do you think she was trying to get back? at you no i think what it was was my brother is out of the two of us you know he's the nicer one he is so i was a yeah fun boom boom and then she probably could feel like i had no interest in you so my brother he he funny he's like oh i'm gonna hang out because like they was watching like they was hanging out she's probably like same dick but nicer yeah he was was hanging (laughs) out but nicer man yeah he was hanging out so then but he was hanging out on some like Shit, based on what he told me, nigga, I'm just trying to. You feel He's me? Like, I'm just trying to smash you too. You feel me? So like, I wish they had that same mentality. Like, like, I don't want to watch this show either. <laughs> That's oh, fucked different up. Girl, different girl. Oh, different, different girl. girl. Different girl. That's fucked up though. Uh, so like, like, I can't get anybody to watch TV with me in this house. <laughs> Yeah, I don't be tripping on. I don't. I don't know if I've done a lot of dog. I, I mean, I've definitely smashed people in the same family, like a couple of girl cousins, mm-hmm. like three of them. Um, I've definitely done you know trans- transactional shit. Most mm-hmm. of my stuff is cold, but they knew that going in, so I don't know if that's yeah mean. If I was lying, if I was manipulating. Um, but when it becomes real, I feel like, well, yeah, it, like talking I, about it outside of yeah. the actual like bedroom. It's but also, like, ah, it's funny, it's cute. He's there like, was, I mean, I guess this is messed up too. And it's like in college, it was like you know, in college we was all kind of like all over the place and dogging out. This is girl, and I remember first time we like we smashed, and she tried to like, and I, y'all probably have more multiple, multiple stories like this too. But she tried to like afterwards like lay up and cut. Oh, up. get out! And I was just like. Mm. I was like, "What are you doing?" And she's just like, "Are you serious?" Like, oh, wow. I just like like after we we just yeah. and then it's just funny. It's like you just did this, yeah. like and you yeah. don't want to realize you was doing this. I'm like, no, no, especially not at that age. And when you were there, like you were, 
you know, he's young. Know, it is dog mode. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. So it was just like. And that's when we used to do the whole fake. They, they had an app called Bluff My Car at the time. It's like, that's when we used to do the fake, you know. Tell me about that. Yeah, yeah. the call through. Yeah. And it's like, oh man, you're, you're tired. Oh, you're tired. Oh, this nigga. He we, used always... to knock, we used to knock on each other's door and be like, hey man, we got practice. Or we got like a reason. Like, I remember my brother, me and my brother lived together. He would either. He would either knock on the door or call or be like, he would always blame his diabetes. I forgot my medicine. We got to go do this. Or yeah. came store, blah, blah, blah. So it was just ways to get them out like all the time. Like, so I guess you want to consider that fucked up. Yeah. But like, I, yeah, don't stay. Why are you trying to stay here? Like, and I remember, I remember the first time and I knew I, I fucked up because I was like, this girl came over during the day and I was like, why are you here? She just came to hang out. And I was like, nah. And I saw her fall asleep. I was like, Hey, don't fall asleep here. Like, mm-hmm. don't. You're gonna, gonna get, wow. you're gonna get comfortable. No, no, no. This is me oh, talking. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, but I'm doing my paper and I see her dozing off and I'm like, nah, that means you're com- like you're Com- too comfortable. Like, nah, I don't like that. So don't. She's like, I'm not gonna fall asleep. She fell asleep. I'm pissed and my teammate comes in. He's like, he sees some shoes at the bottom. He's like, she taking masters? And I was like, Bruh! like so he understood yeah. and she was like, you know, she's coming from a place of like. I don't see the problem. Like, what's the problem? Yeah. And I'm like, you don't get what's going to happen. And sure enough, you start liking me. You start, yeah. I can see it coming. And when he walked in and said, I was like, and but yeah. I think, but what, that's yeah. interesting. Because I, I wouldn't care about that. Well, I, I mean, I didn't want, but I didn't want none of that. Yeah, because it's like, you don't want the comfort because, like you said, he doesn't want. I don't want feelings. They don't want feelings involved. I feel like even from something that you said before, Gary, it seems like you don't mind the feelings getting involved. I'm just yeah. not going to make any decisions based off of it. We're yeah. not going to date exclusively. But I would rather, right. I felt like it was more cruel to allow to them even, to feel that. Yeah. yeah. It's like, like, people can call me a dick all they want, but I never led anybody down a path. Right. One person. that, And I didn't realize I did it until later, yeah. right? But other than that, I wanted it clear because I felt like it was messed up to waste your time. Mm-hmm. I feel like yeah. it was messed up to allow you to catch feelings. Like, 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 it's, yeah. it's, it's, so it's I was just like, no, I don't want, don't do that. I'd rather be a dog and you get your fun and be like, uh, he didn't do this, but you were never hurt. You were never attached. Right. You were never, there was yeah. no long term. This nigga fucked me over. It's it's noble, but I was also, I mean, you know, you I would go, you go into a situation thinking like, nah, I don't want anything. I don't want nothing. Like, you know, whatever. Um, but I was always open to the idea I was always open to the idea if it if it but you, know, you if that's never, where it but went. you knew good and damn well you wasn't gonna be yeah I never know good and gut you knew that well. nigga I never you know knew good and you well. knew you wasn't gonna I never know good and gut you knew well. you wasn't gonna you knew I that never knew. in the back of your mind you just wanted to be like oh I hate I hate that I hate that I'm the only one on here with like true dog ass stories yet correlates with me not having a father like that shit <laughs> is like the point now that I just. Keenan, and it's, it's like that nigga didn't have a dad. That's why he's saying shit. My, my, honestly, my dad was trying to somewhat. My, it was weird with my dad. Like he tried to when I would go on when it came to dating a girl, he'd be like, "Yo, son, here's some cologne. Throw this cologne on. Throw this. Make sure you got a nice dad about. You, you know what I'm saying? Here's some roses." But my dad was also like, "Oh, she's coming through." Nigga, hey, they knock this whole down. Like he, oh, right. he, okay. he was, a, he was like, he, he was split between like it depends what you're looking for. If, yeah. if he's still, if, it's, if a girl that I actually liked, he'd be like, "Run this on her. Like, do this what you do over here." If it's a girl, you knock it down. Hey, this is what you do, nigga. Hey, you do like this, nigga. Hey, fuck, get up out of here, man. Mm-hmm. Like, you smash, get up. It's like, you know, I said my dad's lingo was a cum dumpster. So yeah. that's how he looked at it. It was like, yo, man, get up out of here after that. Dog around, boy, fuck his friend. Fuck and his I, just, and I, just want a, I just want a connection. Nah, my dad was like, yo, you pass it to me, nigga, pass it to me. My dad was trying to get some pass to him. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I, want, I like connecting. I like those moments. But, so, that, but you but we're, you were intelligent enough to know what that does. Yeah, but I, I so, and, and I wanted to like feel that, but I wasn't gonna be like, okay, just you. Exactly. Yeah, so right. it's just it's like I, this will lead down a dark path, but we still had great memories <laughs> and great moments. Yeah. I'm like, nah, like go ahead and do that with somebody else, and cause, and because I always knew too, you know, I, another one coming. So mm, you know, I'm so not really coming. tripping off this yeah. being like I, I know a lot of dudes, you know want to have the cake and eat it. But a lot of people do stuff, men and women, out of fear of when the, when when's the next one going to come. Right. Mm. I'll stay in this because I don't know when the next one. For me, I'm like, she could get pissed and leave tomorrow and I will call, I'll, I'll meet another one. I, even if I didn't have my roster, let's, you know how sometimes you tap out of the roster? Like, yeah. You got to start over? Yeah. I was still like, okay guys, we're going to go out this weekend. I'm going to add another one. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. so, 
I don't care mm-hmm. if, you know, if I go on a drought, and my drought to them is like, it's been a month. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of men like, do, I think women have to understand too, and they probably know this, but like some probably don't. It's just like a lot of men linger or keep you around because they are afraid to lose vagina. Right. So until another, vagina, until, until another vagina comes and they, 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 mm-hmm. they have to be steady, you're, they're going to be like, why, why he coming back around? It's like that, you might be one of the only people on his roster right. left. Right, right. And he's like, he's like, oh, I can't lose this. Not you, steady. Yeah, you thinking yeah. it, you thinking it's like, oh, it's feelings, just this involved. It's like, nah, like it's like he's just keeping you here until, oh, who, I got another one, and all of a sudden, now he's so cold to me. It's just like, you got another. So one. you know what's crazy is like, I actually under, even though I think it's wrong, I understand why mm-hmm. dudes do it because you, yeah, your fear yeah. of you're not gonna quit your job until you get another job, right? For sure, yeah. And so even yeah. though I think that's messed up, but for me, I'm like, I know I can always get another job, so mm-hmm. I'm just yeah. like. Yeah, kick rocks. You know what I mean. So I had the luxury of being able to not play with people's feelings, knowing right. that I could always do another. Like, had I been a person where I don't know what next one, I probably would have been that dude to be like, let me hold on to this yeah. until. But because I knew the next one coming, I was like, nigga. I think my problem was I never, I never cut anyone. I had, a, I had the philosophies like uh, I'm not gonna cut anybody from the team. Right. But if you want to quit. You're more than welcome. Uh, quit. I got you. you can quit. Yeah. I'm not cutting it. I don't. I don't. I don't do cuts. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't do cuts. Everybody <laughs> plays. <laughs> but if you want to quit, yeah. you can quit. I get that. I get that. And some people have that too. Yeah. Some people have yeah. like, I'm gonna let her. Yeah. If she want to go, yeah. she can go. But yeah. I'm not gonna be. Like, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna quit. I mean, I ain't gonna. My roster gonna keep growing. Yeah. I ain't gonna cut you. Yeah. I always kept like my, I. I used to cap it. I'd be like, I only need ain't ain't ain't, ain't but so many days in a week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to cap it, Seven but I would cap it at five. Five girls? Yeah. Okay, that was your rotation? Mm-hmm. Okay. I would always cap it at five because I was just like, and then it got to a point too where I started feeling like this is. You know what's crazy about empty. that? Because when I think about relationship, like relationship sex, once you like in a relationship and you think about like all the like the difficulty of it sometimes and just like why it's not, why the energy's not right. And then you think back to when you had that rotation going and you were only seeing a girl right. once a week. Right. So that week of lag time Honeymoon did phase. all the work. Yeah. Honeymoon phase all the time. It did all the work. Mm-hmm. Like she instantly went. As soon as you, you yeah. like, oh yeah, it's been a week. But now you're doing this, <laughs> the day to day of like day relationships. Day, way like, different than the way revolving good. door. Way different. But you're also seeing tendencies and things that you might be like, ugh. Mm-hmm. But also, too, when they, when it's that girl, you only see the fun, sexy side right. of her. Right, you just see the honeymoon phase of all these people. Yeah, exactly. And that's that honestly stunned to me in a lot of ways. And even in my current like situation, how I was always still in a lot of ways reluctant to like really blend our lives together and share finances and do all that shit because all that stuff to me kind of fucks up our dating. Mm. In a sense, and that's a part of like uh, of a maturity that I I need to like I'm trying to evolve to to that point of like still having like all of our lives and every aspect of it kind of blended together in ways, but still being able to date and not struggle with that. I'm like, no, I don't want to blend finance. I don't want to go through this and that. You pay your half, I pay my half, so we can still date. I'm like, yeah. I'm, I still want. All I want to do is date. I don't want to go into business with you. I don't want to do none of this shit. I just want to date you. You know what's crazy? I think the for me the hardest part was like actually giving a fuck. Like to where you have to put up with things. Mm. Because like I'm not leaving. Like most of the time, like you said, it's just if I don't like it, eh, kick rocks. But then it's like I give you a week. Yeah. Next week, next week we're reset. <laughs> so then then you get to a you get this, to another phase in your life where you've never done any of this before. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, Well, I wanna be like, uh, but I, I actually don't. I wanna but I got to deal with this, but it's like, I never had to. And mm-hmm. then it's like, so I had to learn how to do all that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, just how to learn how to be with one person and deal with their, you know, Not which yeah. which turns out to be small inconveniences. Mm-hmm. But before, you never had to deal with any yeah, inconveniences. Yeah, exactly. So I, that was always a big thing for me was like, even my complaints, she's actually super dope. My complaints were ha- I had were minor. I just never dealt with, deal anything. with anything. Yeah. yeah. So Because you never sat down and watched TV with a woman. No. You know? You know what I mean? <laughs> so that was the roughest part for me was just the... And then realizing, getting to a place and realizing, like, this stuff's actually small. Mm-hmm. So I don't have to react the way I do because it's not that big of a deal. I'm just first time dealing with it. Right. You know I mean, and then yeah. she had to adjust to that too. It was like me understanding that I've never done any of this. So like... Damn. This is a learning curve for both of us. Like, a relationship baby. In yeah. Many ways. Yeah. Yeah. Which is probably why it took us so long to get where we're at now. <laughs> because yeah. we had to figure it out. 
You know what I mean? Damn. So, uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, good one in there. I'm hungry. <clears throat> uh, this will air on the... So, I'll, this weekend, I'll be wrapping up at Brad Garrett's. It's keyonpoly.com on everything. And that's it. So, this will technically be uh, the Saturday of um, July 15th. So, yeah. Uh, I think it'll only be at the Saturday shows. Saturday shows, July, still July 15th and 16th. Uh, Sacramento Last Unlimited. Please, 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 please come to these shows, man. I need y'all and want y'all there. It's going to be a good ass time. We gonna be, we gonna have some good stories to tell, man. You gonna, you gonna know who Keenan Baker is if you haven't already. After, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm uh working and writing, working and writing and revising. Potty training went well. You know what she said? She said, we could have did this six months ago. I was like, no kidding. Because I tried. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, I won't get into it. I won't get into it. <laughs> I won't get into it. He's not ready yet. Yeah.